what you do if your livelihood depended upon your ability to speak and sing? Well, if you're me, you do what I did. I'm Allie Bierman. You can find me at liveinhappinessnow.com. And what I did was I created five steps to rewire your brain for success. You see, success isn't just about money. Success is all about health. And what's going on with me is I'm recovering my voice after brain surgery took it away completely. A few minutes ago, I opened my mouth and nothing came out. So I'm very grateful that something's coming out right now because I really want to share what I'm doing on my healing journey because I know it can make a difference for you. Five steps to rewire your brain for success, where success includes your relationships, your health, your peace of mind, your career, or your business. All of those things make up success or any one aspect in which you set a goal. Let's jump right in with step number one. That is, create the habit of gratitude. You see, there's something every moment of your life for which to feel grateful. In fact, every morning before I get out of bed, I list 10 things for which I'm so grateful. You know, that I had a good night's sleep, that I can sit up to get out of bed without having to lift my head with my hands. Just a whole list of things that by doing that, I'm setting the energy for my day to be in a good space. I do it again before I go to sleep at night so that my brain is working on good things, successful things, what I want to do in life while I'm sleeping. As opposed to so many people who wake up, flip on the news, go to sleep at night just after hearing the news. What's that doing to your brain? What's that doing to your sleep, to your stress level, to your body? Think about it. There's so much for which to be grateful. And the really neat thing is the universe sees how grateful you are. It gives you even more for which to be grateful. Once you're grateful, you will automatically slide into step two, and that's loving yourself first. Love yourself first. It's not selfish. It's mandatory. How are you going to be able to be all you can possibly be unless you're nourishing yourself, unless you're feeding your spirit and your soul as well as your body and your mind to be the best you can be? You've got to be loving yourself first. It happens automatically when you're living in gratitude. See, when you love yourself, and that's something that's ongoing as you practice a habit. Let's say you're living at a level 8 on a scale of 1 to 10, where 10 is perfect loving yourself. And a problem comes up at level 5. You think you can handle it if you're an 8? Yeah, I might pull you down to a 7 or even a 6. But you'll handle it and you'll be back up your eight. But what happens if you don't know how to love yourself and you're living life at level two and that problem comes up at level five? You'll be devastated. So you've got to love yourself first. The neat thing that happens is you'll feel so good about yourself. Love will emanate all around you. You walk into a room, people will feel good and they don't even know why. Plus, you get to feel and experience loving other people for who they are, which is divine spirits. People will always show up as you expect them to, and as you accept them. So the behaviors that you accept, you'll see them, because you filter out the others. Let me give you a quick example. I was going on a weekend trip with a friend who was very negative. And I mentioned that to another friend. She said, change your listening of him. And what she was saying was, change your view of him. Expect something different. So I did. I expected to have a good time. That's exactly what happened. I had a really good time with this friend who had always been so negative. Okay, once you're experiencing other people as being divine spirits, the next thing that's going to happen for you, you're going to feel so good, you're going to live in happiness. Do you know that decades of research show that happy people live healthier and longer lives? They have better relationships. They have more success in their business, in their careers, and in general have a more satisfactory life. Being happy is a happy
reality you can create. You start looking for things in your world to be happy about. They're there. They're always there. All you got to do is look for them. Kind of follows right along with the looking for things to be grateful about. I created the Happy Share Movement because your mind cannot tell the difference between what's real and what's imagined. So that when you recall a moment that left you feeling really good, guess what? Your body's releasing all those same feel-good chemicals and you literally feel good all over again. Share the things that are making you happy and you will have more success in your life. Okay, so those things are prerequisite to you having great success in your life. Now, we move on to the next step, which is taking your goals, and you can do one or in general, but your goal, in order for you to achieve it, must, 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 must be your goal, not somebody else's, and must be at a number 100 in your personal meaning quotient. I can show you how to determine that because unless your goal is at 100, what's going to happen when that obstacle comes up? If your goal is just at a 99, that big obstacle comes up, well that 99 tells you right off the bat, you've got some doubt going on. You think you're going to push over, under, around, through? Do you think you're going to do what it takes to dismiss that obstacle? If you're only at a 99, think again. So step four is finding your personal meaning quotient at 100 and only pursue those goals. Because you're assured success. You're assured of being unstoppable. And number five, you need to know your values. Most people don't ever stop to think about their values. And when they do, they'll list values that aren't really truly their values because most people don't understand that values include the direction where they come from, why are they their values, and the direction you're going because of those values. People don't get what that is. So you need to know your values, you need to know the direction, you need to know the priority of your values. That's something that I can show you because it's not as simple of make a list of the 10 things most important to you. You're not going to be getting your really truly values. And here's what's so critical. Do you know that most divorces happen because the couple, they're not in alignment on their values. They might not have the same values. They might have one person's value one is number 10 for the other person. You got to know your values. You got to know your partner's values to have a successful relationship. You got to know your values. So when you go out to a job, here's one reason people don't succeed at the work they do like it. It's not in alignment with their values. You can't have success when you're working against the inner values that are going on because you'll be struggling all the time and it may or may not be happening on a conscious level but I guarantee you it's going on. So you need to know your values. Why? <laughs> because you need to do the job, you need to have the relationship, you need to do the activities that are in alignment with who you are and how you really live. So to sum it all up, you create the habit of gratitude, which leads to the habit of loving yourself first and therefore loving others, which leads to the habit of happiness. You find out what your personal meaning quotient is of your goals, and then you find your value, direction, and priority, and that leads you to success and rewiring your brain for success.